feminine represents a lower uh, vibration, a greater density into, into being. And so there is a tendency on the part of the masculine to be resistant to that lower vibration of being because masculine consciousness wants to return to its original state of being of, of being high vibrating pure white light. And so this is a completely understandable impulse on the, on the part of the masculine that uh, it wants to go in the direction of its original nature of being, of being higher, faster vibration. But there is a huge mis misunderstanding that happens here, both within, just within, um, you know, people in general, as well as many spiritual paths, which is a uh, misunderstanding around these concepts of, of vibration, and, uh, and it results basically in a denial of the feminine energy, and so that is that is ultimately what it comes down to. The, the repression of the, of the feminine energies is a resistance to experiencing that uh, greater contrast, that greater density, that descent into the experience of, of, um, of density and contrast to the original higher vibrating state of, of consciousness. And the, the misunderstanding here is, is that the lower vibrating parts of consciousness are somehow inferior to, lesser than, the higher vibrating parts of consciousness because the lower vibration is in the direction of um, greater density and away from the original state of consciousness of being in a higher vibration. Now here's here's the problem with this judgment against the lower vibration, which is that if you go back to this, this rainbow concept, imagine the color spectrum of the rainbow, of the different colors, which came about as a result of the fragmentation of pure white light. So in other words, all of the colors from the higher vibrating purple down to the lower vibrating red all came from the pure white light. And thus, of course, all of the colors must be necessary to be merged back together in order to return to the state of pure white light that they came from. So that's, that's the problem in a nutshell with the masculine repression of the feminine, is that there is a huge misunderstanding there that somehow the, that which represents the greater contrast from the original state of being of consciousness um, is a impediment to returning to that original state of consciousness. And there is a resistance on the part of the masculine to experience the, the full depth of the uh, lower self because um, this represents going further away from the original state of, of the pure light of awareness. But this is an absolutely essential and necessary um, part of the process in order to incorporate together all of the elements of, of being, of consciousness, in order to come to a state of pure uh, oneness, of, of, of true, the true resolution of duality must necessarily then involve all aspects of consciousness being reunite, reunited and reunified once again as all colors of the rainbow must merge back together in order to return to the um, 
original state of, of white light. So, um, this, this in a nutshell captures the, um, the conundrum of masculine and feminine energies, which is a um, resistance, especially on the part of the masculine, to truly merging with the feminine energy. And that is ultimately what must happen in order for there to be true oneness, true unity, is the, the masculine being willing to um, go into the full, fullest depths of, of the feminine, to go to the very deepest parts of um, the lower self in order to connect with all parts of the self and, and thus merge with them and bring them back together. Whereas, as I see it, then there is a, um, a greater willingness on the part of the feminine and a greater desire to merge with the masculine. The feminine is really, you know, calling for and, and open to and, and uh, desiring to merge with the pure white light of, of masculine consciousness. And so there is one misunderstanding in particular that I'd like to uh, uh, seek to clarify here as best as I can within this, this paradigm. And so, uh, as I mentioned then, the feminine represents here now, the present moment, whereas the masculine represents the, uh, the changing, the evolution of the moving forwards of consciousness, of being. But there's a, there's a misunderstanding on the part of the masculine in that to whatever extent masculine consciousness perceives this separation and understands that these uh, two different polarities of energy need to be reunified. The masculine thinks that it is the here now present moment and that the ultimate resolution then involves the feminine coming over to where the masculine is. And so the, the masculine perceives this, this gap, this separation between masculine and feminine and it thinks that well, what needs to happen is, is that the feminine needs to come to where it is. And this is a huge misunderstanding because it's exactly the opposite. The feminine is in the present moment. We're all in the present moment, but, but um, the feminine is, is, uh, is where consciousness ultimately needs to um, merge into and the masculine actually needs to come over to the feminine side, basically, and merge with the feminine and, and accept completely um, uh, merging with and going into the feminine consciousness and fully being there. And that's, and that's where true, true uh, nowness is, is of the, the masculine accepting completely merging into that feminine state of being and, and space of being. And so within the same, the same concept, then to whatever extent that the masculine consciousness perceives the feminine as, as having imbalances of, uh, just imagine kind of the, the classic, you know, cliche of women being emotionally unstable and unpredictable and uh, imbalanced and um, chaotic and from the male perspective kind of crazy making and you can't make sense of and you, and you can just never um, you know, satisfy it uh, or, or find true peace within that, that uh, you know, emotional, ever-changing, um, kind of tumultuous state of being then the masculine perceives that as being women's problems, sort of their, their, their emotional imbalance that they need to uh, work out on their own. 
But in fact, to whatever extent that, that, that there is actually imbalance there or um, uh, difficulty, challenge, pain being experienced on the part of the feminine, that is actually a di direct result of the feminine's disconnection from the masculine. So this is basically the, the feminine part of consciousness um, experiencing that separation, the separation of, uh, of that oneness into du duality, because that is an imbalanced, unnatural state of, of being. That, that isn't how it's supposed to be. And so because the, the feminine is the more feeling state of consciousness, then it, it feels that, that uh, separation, that division to a greater extent. And so it experiences that as difficulty, challenges, um, depression, emotional imbalance, uh, inner chaos, uh, etc. But that is, that is just an, an absolutely inevitable, natural result of the separation of consciousness. And the answer is to find unity with the other polarity. And so the resolution is not for the masculine to stay distant and separated, which is kind of the typical masculine thing, which is to say that's, that's women's problems and that really doesn't have... Uh, anything to do with me, they just gotta they just gotta work it out on their own. That is that isn't true actually, um, in in a general sense. It is that when the the masculine energy connects with and merges with the feminine, then the imbalances um, will fade away and true unity can be found, and then that will lead to a state of being that is, you know, the state of being of oneness, of merging of these energies. And so with the merging together of those energies, then that pain and difficulty and, and challenges and everything on the part of the feminine will fade away into another state of being of, of the true potential of masculine and feminine merging together as one. So, I know there will obviously be those who will have uh, you know, disagreement with and resistance to this explanation. People who will say, especially men, that will say, you know, there is no, there is no patriarchy and, and um, Know, women are to blame for the the uh, problems on the planet, just as much as men, and and whatnot. And you know, obviously, it is not a black and white thing at all. There is responsibility on all sides. But in in just a very general sense, then um, my view, anyway, is that the feminine is to a much greater extent ready for this, this oneness, this merging together. And there is a greater resistance and uh, hesitancy and uh, lack of understanding and lack of courage really on the, the part of the masculine to, um, to enter and uh, truly get to know that, that feminine space in order to genuinely uh, merge with it. And so, that's kind of what, what it comes down to, is that the masculine really needs to decide that, that it wants to move in that direction of oneness and, um, and be willing to experience the, full, the fullness of the feminine being and see where it leads and uh, jump into the, the water without knowing how to swim to a certain extent in order to simply get a, you know, more acquainted with, with the feminine reality, state of being, and, uh, and, and thus get to know it and, you know, and become more comfortable with, um, with the feminine aspect of oneself, of man, of, of the masculine. And then in finding that, that connection within, then 
they can they can make that connection without in terms of connecting more with women. So uh, there is of course lots more that can be you know explored in this topic. Absolutely, it's definitely you know kind of the the, the juiciest uh, uh, subject matter out there. Feel free to you know share below the, the video here your own perspectives and insights and, and whatnot, but that's my own um, best attempt at uh, exploring and understanding masculine and feminine energy. So, um, last thing, as I said at the beginning of this video, for those who stuck around this long, then you get a little uh, treat here, which is the view of the spectacular beach here in Hawaii. Here we go. An awesome sunny day. Pola Holly Beach there. And as you can see, if you can hear me, here are the cliffs.